can make you tilapia. And we can share when I'm not an egg. Hey guys, so I'm about to Alexa, can do, I do my, oh wait, <coughs> do my Alexa, big chop one month update. It's been a month since I quit my hair. Um, and just talk about life and stuff because I know I haven't been up I haven't uploaded in like two weeks which is not good and so I just want, kind of want to explain what's been going on and uh, yeah but I'm about to shower really fast and get comfortable I just want you guys to see my outfit alright so I'm showering and everything um, so I'm about to eat and talk to y'all because I just have a lot to talk about so like I said it's been a month since I've big chopped and um, I'm actually having a bad hair day today, so like normally my hair does look a lot better than this, but I tried this new product. I don't really, really like it. Um, it's like the Curl La La by Aunt Jackie's, and I tried to use that as like my cream moisturizer base or whatever, but I think it's a little too light for my hair. I feel like if my hair was longer, it would be fine, but I'm not really feeling it, um, and I think that's part of the reason that my hair doesn't look the same as it normally looks when I do my washing goes, because that product is just not heavy enough um but yeah um you guys can kind of see um this is how long the front of my hair is and then the back is shorter but um i've seen a little growth i mean my hair wasn't cut super super short anyway to begin with so but it's definitely been an adjust um I think it is easier than doing my longer hair. Like it definitely is easier. Um, my hair was longer. Wash days would be a lot of work. And now like I do wash and goes more often. Like I rarely ever did wash and goes with my, when my hair was longer. I use a lot less product now. <laughs> so that saves money. Sometimes in the morning it does take me a little longer when I have longer hair a lot of times I'll either just pineapple it and wear it to sleep like that and then wake up the next day and wear the pineapple or if I wear it down I would just like put it up and like you know half up half down styles I would wear to bed sometimes and just tie around the front because I'd wear them for a couple days so it's definitely <clears throat> takes a little more work in the morning I'll do another like update on my big chop um when it hits like three months I feel like that's a good time so I'll do like three months six months nine months and then a year my hair grows pretty fast um because <laughs> i do miss having longer hair i will say a lot of people think that this fits me better because i have um i don't know how well you can see on camera but like my features are very prominent and so a lot of people like prefer my short hair because they say you can see my features more but it's been a dress also you can probably hear it um but i am sick <laughs> um i got sick I really started feeling it Saturday. It was, it was feel, feeling a little under the weather. Um, and then like Saturday night, it got really bad. Today was very not good as far as being sick and having to go to class. And like, you know, I have three hour classes back to back, um, Monday through Thursday. So it was a lot. I can kind of feel it kind of draining now. In my sinuses, it's not as much pressure. But yeah, um, I haven't been uploading because there's just there's just been a lot going on in my life. Um, not only did I just start a new semester, but it's just like I started this new semester, which is like already difficult in itself, trying to like get back to the groove of things. And then on top of that, I just had a lot of a lot of tragic and just unfortunate things happening in my personal life lately. Um, I don't really want to get into that. Um, because I don't really want to talk about it, but, um, I've been dealing with mental stresses. It's just hard for me to focus on things outside of just going to class and doing the things I'm doing in class. Like, that already is hard. So then, like, when I get to my room lately, I've just been really just laying down and watching movies so I fall asleep. I've been trying to be around more people that, you know... I love and care about so that you know I can distract myself in that way but there's only so much you can distract you can do and sometimes you know you just have to face what's going on um but I have been doing some kind of coping mechanisms which I guess I'll just I was gonna make a video but I ain't touching on that too but I might as well just talk about it 
Um, so basically I have this journal and I've been putting lists in it of like things that make me happy or things that make me smile because when you're down in a rut you really shouldn't focus on all the bad things going on you should kind of like focus on what's positive in your life you know so they say it says happy list and i just kind of i'll just show you guys the first page but i just put like things i'm grateful for and then i have things that make me smile things going well in my life and i just make try and make a list every day that i'm feeling kind of down and under the weather um, and it does help me feel a little better because it, it shifts my focus from the kind of negative things happening to like the more positive things. <clears throat> I think part of the reason that I'm sick is because my body is just like, I think the, men like the mental stress has caused physical stress on my body um, because I was fine. And then after Friday night, I woke up the next morning and I felt so horrible and I was really going through it Friday night. So other than that, Let's talk about more positive things. Um, as far as my classes go, the semester has been cool. My professors are chill. I like them. I have a lot of the same professors, which is nice. Really, January has been a learning experience in itself. Like I have learned so much in this little month, <laughs> probably than I learned in all of 2019, just about people and um, you know interactions and relationships with people and. Just how everyone is does not think like you and everyone is not in the same mindset as you and everyone doesn't look at the world the same way you do. I'm not like a self-centered person. I'm not narcissistic. Um, a lot of people think I am and I'm conceited, but I'm, I'm not. I'm a very giving person, but I think that a lot of times my perspective is so focused on me and the world around me that I don't really consider sometimes other people's logic if that makes sense. I have learned that I need to stop being such a generous person and I feel like that sounds really bad. Not necessarily stop being such a generous person but just like I definitely need to learn how to start putting myself first and I need to start thinking things through more instead of acting out of emotions and I definitely need to, need to start considering some more logical responses to things as opposed to just emotional you know. I do have a lot of work things coming up um, I'm actually kind of behind on work. Um, that's all. Um, my natural hair journey is going decently so far, you know. This semester has been trying, this month has been trying, but I've made it through. January is almost over. February, I'm coming at you with full force. So much energy, so much love, laughter, lituations, and hard work. So, I'm gonna go. I have a lot to do. Let's have a conversation in the comments. Some of you comment all the time and I really appreciate that. So yeah, t tell me what's going on in your life. Comment down below anything that's going on in your life. We can chat about it, how you get over things. Like, let's have a conversation. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Mom.